Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name's Renee. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you being here. Today we have a collab video with the amazing, crazy, beautiful MUA, Heather. I adore her so much. So if you wanna see what we're gonna be getting into with this collab, then stick around, cause I'll be right back. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. So I got some, well, I got an order in the mail the other day and I haven't opened it yet. So I'm gonna open it with you guys today because this is the perfect, this, ah, this is the perfect collab to use this for. So let's open the box and see what's inside. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, you guys. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I got the Glam Light Strawberry Shortcake. I just got um, two things. I didn't get like the whole the whole set because I don't really need it. But I really wanted to get the palette. So let's open this bad boy up. Heather and I, well, Heather hit me up and she wanted to collab with me on like a Christmas look or whatever. And she sent me some pictures. I'll pop up the picture right here of the look that we're going to recreate. It might be not exact, it might be a little bit different, but that's kind of what we're going for. And this palette, I think is gonna work perfectly. So I'm gonna use this today. I have, this is the first time like I'm opening it with you guys. So here's the palette. Oh my gosh, this is like my childhood. Do you remember having these little strawberry shortcake, like the little, um, I don't know what you call them, like the little doll things and you would smell them and they smelled just like strawberry. Whatever character it was, they had scents. Oh, it's so pretty. Look, look at the mirror with the strawberry shortcake. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. And then the shade protector is numbered. And this is the palette. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is going to be perfect. This is going to be perfect. Look at that red right there. Look at the little strawberry imprinted in there. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So I think I'll use that red right there and this green right here. That'll be perfect. Per perfection you guys and then I got this what is this very sweet lip kit so maybe we'll try this out too let's open this up oh the packaging is just adorable I just do I need this no but I really wanted it so I got it because I love strawberry shortcake all right so we've got I think this is a lip gloss what is this one? Oh, maybe I should look at the the box, what does it say? So it's a lip gloss and a lipstick. I wonder if this is the lipstick and this is the gloss. It like doesn't say on the, oh, this is the lipstick, okay. This is the lipstick. It's kind of deceiving the way this is made. You know what I mean? Cause it looks like you're gonna pull this out like you would a lip gloss, but can I open this? All right, there's the lip gloss right there. I'm gonna wait to put this on. And then the lipstick just pops open. Ooh, that's a pretty color. I'm excited for that. All right, so let's get into this. If you guys don't know who Heather is, Crazy Beautiful MUA, I will leave her link down below. Go check her out. She knows a lot, you guys. She's had like a blog for a long time. Like she really knows a lot about makeup and skincare and stuff. And while there's stuff that she doesn't like that I like and probably stuff that like vice versa, you know what I mean? Like we still kind of share a love of makeup and our skin is different, uh, where we live is different. So the things that we use, uh, you know, what might work for her won't work for me and what works for me, y you know what I'm saying? You know, like everybody's different. So not everybody's gonna have the same love of the same kind of makeup, if that makes sense. Hopefully I'm explaining that right. All right, let me go into I don't want to use that deep red. Oh, which one do I want to use? Let me go in with this one right here. We'll try that. And if I need to deepen it up, then I will. I need a good brush. I need a good brush for this, you guys. Which brush? Let me use this blinged brush. I did get, I did get the blue ones, you guys, because they're they're beautiful. And I'm not ready to use them yet, but I will share them with you in a video. Let me get my mirror all right i'm dipping into this red i don't think they have shade names 
Do they? Nope. So this is just shade number 12, guys. Shade number 12. Look at that. Ooh, boy. I did use my e.l.f. Um, shadow stick. Cookies and Dreams shadow stick to get my lids ready. I'm just going to tap this right in the crease here. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. That's just one dip. I was going to dip in again, but I changed my mind because I want to make sure that I don't overdo it. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to use one dip and kind of tap it on and kind of blend it out a little bit. And we'll see how this turns out. I might have to look at the picture again just to, you know, make sure that I'm doing this right. I don't know if I'm going to do like a wing. I did do my base. I used my ColourPop um, foundation. I did use my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I used my Pure Lease Soft Glow BB Base Primer. I did use a little bit of this e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer, but I just put it underneath my eyes and I used a little bit of my hard candy setting powder and then I did do my brows and I used my goof proof brow pencil from Benefit and then I used the brow brow something from Benefit and just kind of went over it a little bit so they're not looking terrible alrighty we got that laid down so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this Michaela brush from Gleam White and I'm going to dip into shade number two. So this is the first shade I used. Now I'm going to go in with this pink shade right here. And I'm just going to use it to kind of blend out like the edges a little bit to try and make it look a little diffused and not so harsh. Kind of like blended like the, like the picture looks because it, it looks real, you know, soft on the edges. So that's kind of what I'm going for and I'm probably going to use a lighter color to kind of highlight the brow bone over this because I don't want I don't know we'll see we'll see we're going to take it one step at a time one step at a time alrighty so I got that blended out I know it looks kind of crazy but I'm hoping like when I'm done it's going to all come together you know what I mean I think I want to use, I don't know if I'm going to use this one or this one. I think I'll try this one, just kind of deepen it up. I don't know, there's like, what is that black all over this palette? Oh no, what did I do? Oh God, you guys. I don't know what I got on my palette, but it's black. I don't know what that is. I have something I have something on my finger son of a bitch all right so I'm going into shade number 15 which is this one right here and I'm just gonna put that like in the crease here just to kind of deepen it up a little bit because it looks like in the picture like it's a little bit darker in here so and then I think what I'm gonna do is use a q-tip and my my cellar water and kind of clean this up and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do whether I'm gonna use like a colored base or just put some concealer there and kind of do like a cut crease for the green and see how that turns out I think that's not looking too bad this blend bunny brush I think this is B1 that's perfect for this right here perfection if you guys have not checked out Heather, I highly recommend you do. She's so much fun to watch. She really is. You know, the way that she explains things is just, you know what I mean? It, it, it's not, it's not so serious. It's lighthearted and it's funny and like things that she talks about. I love when she does her get ready with me's and, and she talks about her days and stuff and like the stories that she tells. It's just it's freaking hilarious and I adore her so much and she's helped me you know with a couple things you know when I was trying to get an iPad for filming so that I could have something a little bit bigger 
to film and edit on instead of my phone. Not that my phone doesn't work, my phone's great. I can film and edit on my phone. It's just having the iPad is a lot easier because the screen's bigger and it really helps with making my thumbnails as well, you know? So I, I really enjoy filming and editing on my iPad. And she really, you know, helped me figure out which one that I should get that would be best for, you know, like storage and quality and stuff like that, you know, because I don't need anything that is crazy, you know, like a laptop with all this storage because, you know, as soon as I upload my videos, I delete them off of my, um, my iPad or my phone, you know. The only thing that sucks is sometimes, like, whatever I take on my phone will end up automatically syncing with my iPad and vice versa so that if I film on my iPad I end up with the video on my phone so that kind of messes with storage but then you know I just delete them so it's no big deal my sister came over yesterday and uh she had a reindeer themed day at work and I'm sure if you are on my IG or my TikTok that you've seen the pictures or my Facebook, you've seen the pictures, but I was, uh, well, I was a little bit nervous, not like crazy nervous because it, it really wasn't that hard to do, but it was so cute when I was done and she went into the bathroom to like look at it and do her mascara and she was like, oh my God, I love it. And it was just like, it really made me feel good. You know what I mean? Like it, it just, it just made me feel really good that I, I did well enough that she really liked it a lot. You know what I mean? It, it it meant a lot to me. I'll leave a picture up in here so you can see how it turned out. It was fun. It was fun. I like it when she asks me to do her makeup. All right, so how are we looking there? I think, I don't know if both eyes are exactly freaking the same because it's just impossible. You know, they're not twins. They're not identical twins. They could be twins but not identical twins, you know what I'm saying? They could just be cousins too, you know, that happens from time to time. But anyways, I love Heather. I think she's amazing and she does have a wealth of knowledge about hair care and skincare and makeup and like if you're looking for information, she's, you know, she's, she's your girl, you know, she has a lot of experience because she's been you know, doing makeup and skincare and hair care blogs about products for, you know, a long time. So she, she knows what she's talking about, especially if it has to do with stuff that's geared towards her type of skin, you know, so if you have her type of skin, she's somebody that you're going to want to listen to, you know, about what products work because she knows what works for her. While you could still be a little bit different and maybe it works for her, and it doesn't work for you or it works for you. You know what I'm saying? Like it, you know, it, it just depends because we're all different, you know, so, but she does have a wealth of information and I enjoy her videos very much. And Heather, thank you so much for inviting me to collab with you. This video actually is going up tomorrow. I'm like late. I was going to film this yesterday, but I just, you know, got lazy got lazy it happens on my days off you know and today is my Sunday and I have to go back to work tomorrow what was I going to do I was going to do something cut the crease all right so let me get my little q-tip cotton swab out and my micellar water my little micellar water and I'm going to kind of cut the crease here and then I'm probably going to use I don't know which concealer but I'm going to use a concealer to put on the cut crease before I lay down the green. Alrighty guys, cut the crease and got the concealer laid down. I just used my Wet n Wild and this is in Fair Beige. So I'm going to go into, oh my gosh, it's on this shade protector. That's what, I don't know. I'm gonna have to clean this up a little bit. It's messy. All right, I'm gonna go into nine which is this shimmer green shade right here. And I'm gonna put that on the lid and see how she turns out. I'm just gonna use this, I think this is an AOA brush maybe, just a little flat brush and I'm dipping in. I might have to use my finger, we'll see. We'll just tap this on. Hmm, yeah, I may 
may have to wet the brush or use my finger. I'm just gonna kind of tap this down though where I want it to be with the brush and then I'll probably go over it with my finger because at least this way I can kind of get the outline of where I want it to be before I use my finger, if that makes any sense. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm digging this palette, guys. I'm digging this palette. I think I just got green there. Oh no. All right, let's do the other eye. You guys, I think there was something on this brush because it's looking more blue <laughs> than it is green. So I think I just effed up, but that's okay. We're gonna fix it. I'm gonna use my finger. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. And I'm just gonna tap it on top of this and see if I can maybe fix the ubu that I just made. <sighs> I don't know if that helped at all. That's really pretty though. That's really pretty. Use my other finger. Oh, that's so gorgeous. All right, I tried. I think it looks a little bit better. I think it looks more green than blue now, for sure. I don't know, maybe it was just me. But I'm pretty sure there was blue on that, on that brush. You can kind of still see it. Son of a crap. That... That bothers me. That really bothers me. There's a little bit of green. I'm, I'll just fix it later. I'm not gonna mess with it right now because I don't wanna make it any worse. All right, I'm gonna go into an angled brush. I'm gonna use this one right here. And I'm gonna go into, I think this is shade number, shade number five. I'm gonna go into that one and I'm just gonna kind of tap it right underneath the lower lash line here. I'm just gonna tap, tap, just real little bit, and then I'm gonna blend it out. I don't wanna put too much red, but in the picture she does have red on the lower lash line. I think you really have to be careful with red underneath your eye, cause it can make you look like kind of sickly, you know what I mean? There's a couple times I did red underneath my eyes and it just I don't know it just didn't look right you know what I mean it, it made me look like I was kind of like like sick like I had a cold or something or I was feeling under the weather I don't know we'll see how this turns out all right I'm gonna use this other blend bunny brush this is the B4 what color do I want to use to blend this out? I think I'm going to use the shade 15 right here and we'll see how that goes. I might have to use the pink. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll just use this one real quick. See what happens. That's not looking too bad, right? Not looking too bad. All right. So she's got a real white on the inner corner. Give me a second to think about that. I'm gonna do tight line real quick. All right, I pulled out a, one of my uh, Z palettes. I'm gonna use this, and this is White Wedding. I think, I'm not sure what company this is. My bad, it could be uh, one of three companies. I'm not sure, and I don't wanna say what it is and then be wrong, so anyways, White Wedding. And we're gonna put this on the inner corner because that's what she has is white on the inner corner and I hope I can make this look as good as hers does. I might have to wet this guys. I might have to wet this. I wet my brush. Ooh, that actually looks really good. All right, guys, how's that looking? I think I need to maybe this up just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna get off and I'm gonna finish my lower liner, my waterline, um, bronzer, blush, mascara. I'll come back with the final look. All right, so don't go anywhere. 
All right, guys, I'm back and the look is good. All right, so I had a little fun. I did, I did. All right, for my lashes, I used my Laura Geller Fortifying Lash Primer that for the top lashes. I did a coat. I let it dry down a little bit while I was doing some other stuff. I curled them again, did another coat. So yeah, that's what we've got going on there. For tight line, I used the KVD Cake Pencil, which I love. For my waterline, I used this gel liner from AOA in Cold Days. It's like a, I don't know, like a tealy blue color. I just thought it would be fun. I think she used like a black, but I feel like that would close up my eyes a little bit, so I didn't want to use the black. For my blush, I used the Deep Throat NARS. I can't remember where I got this, but it's a pretty color. I like it. It doesn't look bad. And then I used my Too Faced Bronzer for bronzing. What else did I do? On my lips, I used this Aveo Beauty lip liner that I've been using, and then I used the um, Strawberry Shortcake it's like a pink color. It smells like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain what this smells like, but it, it's, it's, it's familiar, but it doesn't smell good. It smells like, I don't know, maybe kind of like paint or something. I don't know. Weird. And then I topped it with the gloss, which I think it's really pretty. I think it's really pretty. I like it except for the smell um i did use a little bit of my saint lux celestial uh <gasps> i just dug my finger in it oh no that's no bueno oh it's underneath my nail that's awful oh brother all right so i used this with this brush and just kind of went along my brow bone there just to give it a little highlight this is dang it that bums me out. All right, and then if you've seen my Tamu hauls, you know that I got these double-sided eyeliners. One side is a stamp and one side is a, a liner. So what I did is I went ahead and I used, if I can open it, good Lord. I used this side and I just, I didn't do a wing because my eyes are just, the shapes are not good for me to do wings, especially with liquid liner. Maybe someday I'll try it, but like I've tried a couple times and my eyes just don't, the shape of my eyes just don't fit it. So I did just put a little bit of a line right there on my lash line a little bit. And then as you can see, obviously, I used the stamp side, the star, to kind of add a little pizzazz, a little pizzazz, pizzazz. Uh, I think the liners work really well though. Um, for, I think they were like a buck 98 or something like that. Like, Yes, please. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, I used my ColourPop Act Natural Black for the lower lashes. And I think that was it. I think that was it, you guys. What do you think? I think it came out pretty good. I love this palette. I really do. Like, I have to... In my humble opinion, I am not like this major beauty guru professional or anything like that but in my opinion this is probably one of my favorite palettes from glam light i'm not even gonna lie um i i love the theme the packaging you know it's nostalgic for me i love the way these performed i i kind of messed up with the brush that i used and i think that the green like i, I think i was able to save it definitely but do you think it like I don't know. I think it came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with myself. Thank you so much, Heather, for inviting me to collab with you. It really means a lot. I love and adore you so much. I enjoy your content and I hope that you always post. You know, I know that sometimes you like question it, but like I enjoy your content and I know there's other people that do. So I hope that you always want to film because you really are a joy to watch and I get a wealth of information from you. I really do. And I love and adore you. So, you know, stay on this journey with me. Stay on this journey with me. And if you need a pep talk or if I need a pep talk, 
talk, I'll come to you. And if you need a pep talk, you come to me. I got your back. I got your back. I love you so much. All right. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to let you go. I hope you all have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time of day it is that you're watching this. Thank you for sticking it out with me on Vlogmas. This is Vlogmas Day 23. I have probably two more that I'm going to film. Um, one today and maybe one tomorrow that I'm going to film. And then like vlogmas is done wow that went quick and i made it i made it i did it woohoo yay heather we did it we made it through vlogmas well not quite yet but we're there we're at the end so anyways yeah thanks for hanging out with me today guys take care stay safe if you are new here and you haven't joined the family i hope you'll go down below join nene's glam squad all you have to do is click that subscribe button it's free you guys go ahead and turn up that notification bell that way you can get notified anytime I make a new upload. If you wouldn't mind, give the video a big thumbs up. It truly means a lot, helps out my channel, lets YouTube know that you enjoy seeing my content. And leave a comment, say hi, let me know that you stopped by. And make sure that you go down below and check out Heather. I'll have her on the end screen as well. So you can click there or go down below and click on her link and go check out her video and show her some love. All right guys, with that being said, I'm out of here. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.